We've got scrap plans for a released WWE star to win a title. We've got backstage details on a Raw star return. And Adam Copeland has said he will end his full-time career in AEW. Stay tuned for the news. Well, as we covered earlier on, we have a new NXT North American champion in Dirty Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Oh God, Tom. Oh God. Uh, well, we've got some more news about that very title from Fightful Select. They've said that there was plans for a North American title change, but it didn't involve originally Trick Williams, who won the title this past weekend. There were some incorrect plans, according to Fightful, stating that Dominic was originally scheduled to retain over Mustafa Ali. However, it's since been revealed that Mustafa Ali was supposed to win the North American title at No Mercy prior to his release. Um, this is reportedly one of the reasons why NXT higher-ups were quite annoyed by his release. And you get why, part. don't you? If that was going to be a big part of your, your future plans for yeah. the North American title, and then you go, no, nah, we sacked him. Right? Livid! You, like, if they've gone, here's one of our big attraction pay-per-view matches or premium live event matches, and it was meant to be, oh, as you said, plans going, in, going forward with them, and then they get fired. That's not great, especially when you had this feud building up for quite a while. Um, the report continues to note that Dominic Mysterio was always slated to retain his North American title over Dragon Lee in that match. That, really, really great match that took place on Raw just the other week. Uh, but it was meant to have some involvement from Mustafa Ali. Um, and this was to cost Dragon Lee the match and set up a triple threat at no mercy. I would like to have seen what Mustafa Ali could have done with the title. And it looks like he was going to be doing stuff with it for a while because according to Fightful Select, there were creative plans for Mustafa Ali that go all the way into March of next year. They'd set out a roadmap for Ali uh, as North American type champion or at least in the, in, in, the in, in the gravitational pull of the North American Championship. Really gutted because... There's a guy who we know we've wanted to see do great things for a yeah. long, long time. And just on the verge of winning some gold in WWE, he gets let go. Gets let go. He's, he, he hasn't, apart from the Cruiserweight title, uh, he hasn't won a championship in WWE. So the Cruiserweight title, obviously, it then merged with the North American title. So there, there's that lineage there. But it would oh, have yeah. a real shame that he's not had that opportunity. WWE just didn't, didn't, didn't want to keep him around going forward. With, but especially in, in NXT... Yeah, it's a missed, missed opportunity. I think he would have had a, a great run with the title. Dominic Mysterio, it's back on him. I'm interested to to know whether if Mustafa Ali had won it at the weekend, whether this switch would have would have happened. I don't think it would have. I don't think it would have. It just seems very it, it seems very shotgun to move it to and from Trick Williams in this way. Uh, but they've done it in a way where I think it kind of enhances the story they're trying to tell between Dom and, uh, between Trick Williams and Carmelo Hayes. Yes. So there is something to be said for that there. It gives Trick a title reign, no matter how Does. short. Three days. I feel game. like that we would not have seen Don win back the North American title. Yeah, I don't think we would have either. I no. think it would. Have, Mustafa Ali would have had that run. Uh, but it'll be interesting. I wonder if there will be any more news coming out about that one. But sticking with NXT just now, uh, in a recent post on Twitter, I still don't want to call it X, <laughs> Better Wrestling <laughs> Experience confirmed that Joe Gacy is very highly rated by Triple H and plans for a main roster call-up have been in the works for a while. Uh, Joe Gacy is one of those names that I'm surprised actually isn't on the main roster already. Well, he kind of got... It looked like he was going to go fairly quick when he was doing the uh, the the sort of woke agenda-type yes. gimmick. Yeah, and then uh, and then it kind of went into I'm a mystical man with magic tree. Here are my yeah, the friends tree thing was there, weird. Jimmy, Bobby, and Claire. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm in my magic tree, and the tree just died. Goodbye. That um, coffee's done something to you. Oh, it really has. So I think they wanted to let that play out. They wanted to play uh, all that stuff uh, happen. The schism occur, and now that that very much feels like it's coming to an end. I mean, the dyad's no longer with. WWE. So that's another thing is this faction isn't there. So it's interesting to wonder if he'll come up with Ava Rain and like that's going to be a thing. But Yeah, I'd hope Ava doesn't get lost in the mix here because yeah. I think that was a great way to bring her into the company. I think she needs a little bit more time in NXT to sort of, I guess, learn more of mm. pro wrestling and, and, and get that experience there. But Joe Gacy going to the main roster, I think it, it, it would work. But that's not the only name that there's been talk about for a main roster deal. Who? What is it? No, Dragon Lee is the other one. So he's been thrown around a little bit. He's popped up on Raw a couple of times now during his feud with Dirty Dom. Mm -hmm. uh, however, according to BWE, the plan is for a slow build uh, and, and some main roster exposure. 
bit like the appearances on Raw that he's yep. had before any plans of a permanent move to Monday or Friday nights can be discussed. He's certainly a guy that they've got their eye on in the future. Whenever anybody with a mask turns up, they always say, finally, a new Rey Mysterio, because mm. the old one we have to keep gluing back together. <laughs> Uh, My knees. We, <laughs> Father, give me legs. Uh, they they desperately always need one, but I, I don't want to rush. The, no need to rush the Dragon Lee thing. Have it, have him storm NXT for a good while. Yes, yeah, so, and he's no had panic. some, as you said, some nice appearances on Raw. The match with Dirty Dom was was really really strong, really really good good showing. He's got a, a match on SmackDown this week against Theory after th he was in the crowd on SmackDown and Theory sort of ran his mouth at him. So I'm excited to see these little teases of Dragon Lee. And I guess it builds the mystique. If folk go, oh, this guy's really, really good. I'll go and watch NXT mm. and go and see what Dragon Lee's up to. Um, he's one of those guys that, yeah, it's everyone's going, it's, oh, you could be the next Rey Mysterio. When the next Rey Mysterio has, for the past 20 years, always been Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio. <laughs> I think there's, there's some money in Dragon Lee. Uh, and I think we will see him on the main roster at some point soon-ish. But keep them building up strong in NXT. But someone who has made the return to WWE and made on to Monday Night Raw is Johnny Gargano. PW Insider reporting that this was a late creative decision to have him return on Raw. Um, they're told that plans were locked towards the end of the weekend with Gargano traveling to Raw in San Jose early on Monday, but being kept hidden. Uh, Gargano had returned at live events a few weeks ago. This is the first time back on TV. And it's funny because he's been ready to go for some time, but they've just been reluctant for numerous reasons to actually finally pull the trigger on this DIY return and I, I, I do you know what you know last night was as good a night as any yeah. Gargano making the safer champer from a beat down from Imperium uh, just a shame that if you're watching in some parts of the states where the feed cut out before they could hit the meeting <sighs> in the middle yeah god yeah that's that's gutting that's it was, a, that was the big payoff for the moment wasn't it yeah but thankfully we live in the age of the internet where everybody has seen it now yeah. so it's fine it's done the job buzzing for DIY it was reported by BWE uh, just early a few months ago, the the plan is DIY and Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn over the tag titles. That was the original the original plans. plans. Yeah, but obviously Kevin Sami have lost the belts since then. Whether or not Kevin Sami find the belts once more and then we get it, or whether DIY are the ones that dethrone the JD, the Judgment Day, or Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso if they win the titles at this weekend's Fastlane, who knows? But that I'm excited to happen. see what DIY does. It's nice; it gives Gunther some more challengers in Gargano as well. Let's see if he gets some matches because that will be a really, really good match. But you do you know why Champa finally got saved? by Gargano on Monday night. Why did Champa finally get saved by Gargano on Monday night, Tom? Because it was a DIY SOS. <sighs> that Just thought of that. That coffee has done something to you, but sticking with three letters. Take the rest of the week off for good behavior. Yeah, you need to, yeah, you need to. <laughs> well, sticking with three letters, BWE has given us a new report saying uh, that the early candidates for the Royal Rumble, there's sort of been some discussions. They said, for the men, a list of few names have been discussed and should be filtered just before Royal Rumble 2024. But the women have two solid winners. Now, my mind immediately jumps to Jade Cargill. Oh, yeah. She's obviously the talking point of the wrestling industry or one of the talking points. It's been a busy, busy week. I think she is kind of a lock in my mind to win the Rumble for the women. For the men, it's the same as last year for me. It's either Cody Rhodes or LA Knight. Oh, now the Cody now Cody needs to get to, to face Roman at Mania. Yeah. Roman's got the main belts and the world. Obviously, the world title he doesn't have. So potentially, if Cody doesn't win the Rumble, you can have someone challenge for the world title, then that still yeah. leaves Roman free. Exactly. Have Cody maybe win Elimination Chamber. Yeah. Going to that route and then have him ch challenge at WrestleMania. But I think I'm, I'm excited to see how the Rumble shapes up. It's probably it's the most exciting pay-per-view pay of the year. Do you know what it'll be? You, I, think, I think you hit the nail on the head and I think it's going to be, I think the last two will be Cody and LA Knight. Cody, LA Knight or Cody Gunther again. Oh, that'd be quite nice. And have a, a run back from last year, but... Cody gets eliminated. Uh, oh! And Gunther wins it. But we'll keep an eye on the, the plans for the Royal Rumble. I'm sure over the next few months, we will have more and more on that one. But one of the big talking points of this week has been Edge, Adam Copeland. He uh, he obviously made his AEW debut at Wrestle Dream. It was a big pop. Our reaction is on the channel right now. It was wild, wasn't it? It was incredible. I love the fact that it was just his entrance his entrance theme, yep. <laughs> the it exact was, same pyro. He's the radar superstar. He's the rated R superstar. You get Tony Chimmel in. 
You could. Yeah, Get you could. Tony Chimmel in, you cowards. He's, it was a big, big debut, and he was talking to CBS Sport this week about the move from WWE, and he said, As I got closer to the end of the deal, retirement was a very, very real option. It was not off the table. I really sat with the idea of retirement because I truly thought, like, man, WWE gave me that night. I don't know how that gets topped. And that's still in my brain. But I guess now it's like, okay, how can I try and top this in this new environment? Um, he said, well, went on to say that honestly, that Toronto show was a send off for that character. And it was the perfect way for the character to go out. Wrestling a guy that I've never wrestled, uh, that I always wanted to. It was just so much fun in there. That night, I will never forget. I'll always have that night with me. And I told Seamus that too. That will be one of the most special nights in my career always. What else did he go on to say? He went on to say that, well, it's similar to what he said in previous interviews. He, he doubles down on the fact that the big reason that he is there is because kind of him and WWE sort of grew apart creatively. He felt like he'd done everything he could do in WWE. He'd been there 25 point. years. Yeah, on and off. And he'd been there, you know, and, and everything had, you know, all boxes had been ticked. And he wanted to go to AEW because there was an opportunity to help create and cultivate new talent there as well. There's a, a big pull for him to do more stuff behind the scenes on a full-time basis. Uh, and also, he wants to hang out with Christian again. That was yeah. always the big driving force. And it was the one thing that made us all go, we think Aww. he's going to go. He wants to hang out with his mate again. They want to, you know, one of the, the finest tag teams of the 21st century. Of course, they want to... He wants to end his twilight years with his mate. Yeah, who, who exactly. Wouldn't, who wouldn't want it? If you could spend your twilight years with your best mate, why wouldn't you? Exactly. And it's like he said in the press conference afterwards, he was asked his kids, what should daddy do? And they said, go have fun with Uncle Jay. And I think uh, you've seen, we've seen Christian Cage have sort of a renaissance in the past few years. Mm. He's, he's one of the top guys in the industry, genuinely. Like he's just made a very wrestle dream. And I think Edge has seen that and gone, I kind of have a lot of fun right there. Um, I love the fact that Edge is so... In, I, I love how down-to-earth and brilliant Adam Copeland is on X as well. He's very open about yeah. everything that he's feeling. Uh, I want to give him some love because he came to the he came to the aid of, of my, my, my mate Collins on Twitter uh, who posted a very real video uh, of themselves crying whilst watching Edge return and got a bit of grief people going why are you one one person in particular mm -hmm. going, oh why why are you crying for somebody that you that doesn't even know you exist that's a bit weird that is and to which adam copeland popped up and went well i now know you exist and i appreciate you appreciate thanks for being along for the ride like yeah what, what a nice come nice, on adam what a nice chap but he did he went on to also say that he, you know he wanted to try and maximize the time that he has left and the key wording here if that's one year if that's two years it seems like we have an expiration date sort of this is the crux of what he's saying isn't in it in mind you know he wanted to do as much as he can while he still feels that he can he's you know he's, he's touching the you know touching 50 very very soon so you know it's it's a tough industry and he's he's been working a part-time schedule and many many wrestlers have said that working part-time is harder your body doesn't build up that callousness that it needs to do all the bumps every single night he is going to be full time in AEW so i imagine it'll be a, a shorter run but a much more intense run he is here for a good time not a long time exactly but it's going to be a very very good time with edge sorry adam copeland in aew the iconoclast oh the I'm, rogue. I'm so excited to see what he does Cope. but that is all we've got for you just now nine pitches will be on the channel later on today you're on this one tom lastminute.com i'm on nine pitches you want to give you, us a, if you, a tease no, I, 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 it's what you want to happen <laughs> do, you want, do you want to come back to my place oh, 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 oh is that what you meant oh, oh, all right oh, 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 oh tease oh, for nine pitches yeah Sorry. tease for nine pitches um, it's what you want to happen no it's what we want to it's happen it's what you want to happen stay tuned for all the content coming to the channel there'll be predictions soon we'll have the nine pitches and there'll be the podcast so stay tuned love you bye Oh, you did it. There you go. Stay you did tuned. the thing. Yeah. You could have done it. Go nah, do your catchphrase. I, no, I, I I want you to do the catchphrase. If you do the catchphrase, I get to take the rest of the week off. What's your, what's your, stay safe. Love you. Bye.